Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today. Let's go to the cloud pages. So Web Studio, when you go to Web Studio, under that you will find cloud pages. So when we say cloud pages, it is like uh, you have seen the website pages, right? So it is just like those. So in cloud pages, we have landing page. Cloud page is just a collection. Okay. In that cloud page, you have to create the landing pages. So let me show you. So here, likewise, you can create a collection. So in order to create a cloud page collection, you just need to drop down, click on the drop down. And then let's add Sara. Create. Okay. So when you click on Sara, you when you, you will see add content. Under add content, we have these options. Landing page, code resource, microsite, interactive. Okay, now what is landing page? Landing page as name says landing. So when you click on the links, it will land on the another tab. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is the landing page. Let me open it. So cloud pages, use cloud page to publish targeted marketing content to customer across multiple channels. So cloud page is a marketing cloud application used to create publish targeted marketing contents to customer across multiple channel. Cloud page editor is used to build a collection of content, optimize your content for distinct mobile, social, web experience, publish content immediately, schedule it to publish later like we do. Then monitor publish content to gauge its performance across the each channel. So as we have seen, the cloud page supports publishing to this channel, landing page, mobile push pages, microsites and there is one more new added. Okay. So let's see the cloud page. So let's create one landing page. Now when you create, go to create a landing page, you will find very similar uh, overview tab. So landing page LP. So here you need to select how you want to create a landing page. You want to use the layout which is already there or it can be blank. <coughs> so let's take a blank because blank you can modify as you required. So now when you click on the landing page blank view, you can see page URL. So this is the page which we are creating, okay? And it is not activated yet. To activate, you need to publish it. Okay, so let it load. So here, do you remember these options? Yes. Yeah, so this is similar to the email options. Mm -hmm. So yes. landing page is nothing like but the email creation part. So you'll be creating an email, but you will be using it as a web page. Mm Okay, then I want to add your header. It's the same one which you created. I'm just trying something like that. Okay, let's remove. Okay, then let's say uh, content free form. Please help us to know. Okay, so now here I am asking my audience some question. Please help us to know you more. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let me increase its size. And afterwards, I want to add a form. So the only difference in landing page than the email is this smart capture form. Okay, this is the additional thing which you will see in landing page but not in email. So when we say form, it will allow you to capture the details from your website where this page is up, iframed or updated from there into your marketing cloud data extension. Okay. So form name, let's give a form name as what is this? Burga. Uh, Burga. 
okay now here you can select a data extension from where you can select the fields in which you want to add the data okay let's select a data extension so in this where are you Sarah. <coughs> okay so i want first name last name uh, i want email address i want country i want their gender i want their phone number as well okay so all this information you can see as soon as i added it came here like an options to fill in details okay then i want to add subscriber key as well so subscriber key instead of adding or showing it to customer at is as it is a backend key i'll add it as a hidden attribute okay okay subscriber key is added as hidden attribute so let's say i want subscriber key as an email address so i'll uh -huh. say i'll personalize this so it should be same like this okay or else you can add subscriber key as phone which can be the unique key as well right so let's you remember right we write personalization in this two person person yes. it should be exact matching to the data extension name so clear till here yes so this is a smart capture form as we say i mean smart capture will allow you to capture the data into the data extension which is selected now i want to modify the form so if you click on it if you go to form styling here you can change the alignment i want it in center i want it in arial black color you can change mm -hmm. and when is used uh, the this cloud pages is so now let's say you have a form and you want to generate more leads okay mm -hmm. your brand this burka brands have a website and mm -hmm. those who are visiting this website you want to capture those lead so you will iframe this form using this link on the website understood yeah even you can uh, update this submit option as well so if you go here if you go to submit option so when they click on submit you can either say thank you for submission or you can take them to another uh, url after submission let's say i'll take them to uh, burka this is correct right burka official site okay mm -hmm. yes so here you can see this is the button so likewise we'll be adding the form so when you click on shop now it will show you these options okay so let's add this after the submission so you can also tell do you want to open the same in the current page or the new page let's say current page only okay you can change the button submit you can change the name of it you can change the color of it okay you can change the alignment Let's make it aerial black. Got it till here? Mm -hmm. so yes. Now we have created the form. Okay, let's save it. So when you save it, you will see this link is still not clickable. So let's publish it once it is saved. Now publish. You will see this link is clickable now. Now you can click on this link it will land on another page so this is your landing page is it looking like a website page yes thanks for watching the video for full course please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today